Hey, good afternoon everybody. It's July 5th, 2022. We are in the New Testament and we are in the book of Matthew and we're going to read chapter 14 today. Uh, we're going to start off with the death of John the Baptist. Last time we saw John in Matthew, he was in prison. And he was trying to figure out, okay, if, if I was right about Jesus being the Messiah, how come I ended up in prison? And Jesus basically sent him a message back saying, okay, what did you think the Messiah was going to do? You thought he was going to heal the sick, bring repentance, spread the word of God, do God's will. That's what I'm doing. There's your answer. I'm not here. What didn't come to satisfy John the Baptist? Did John the Baptist accept that answer? Well, I guess he must have because here we see that Herod, the son of the first Herod that we saw, has locked him in prison and has gone so far as to kill him. And when he sees Jesus, he says, oh my goodness, this is John the Baptist. Come back to life. So that continuity of message was there. John never changed his story at all. So he might have wavered a little bit, but he was convinced that Jesus was the Messiah. After John the Baptist is dead, Jesus gets the news and he wants to head out in the wilderness, mourn and think about it. But about 5,000 people end up following him. And they don't have any food to eat. You should see parallels between this story, which appears in all four Gospels, so it's really important. See parallels between this story and what happened in Exodus. As Moses has led the Jews out into the wilderness and there's no food. And they come to Moses and Moses prays to God and says, I need food. And, they, and God sends down manna. In this case, Jesus says, we got to feed them. What do you got? Five, five loaves of bread and two fishes. And Jesus says, God, I'm going to bless this food. All right, start handing it out. And they do. And not only is it enough, but there's plenty left over. After everyone's fed, he sends them off. So he can finally have his alone time. We, we end up with the disciples floating out in the middle of the lake. And they say, hey, wait a minute, that looks like Jesus walking across the water. What? He's walking across the water? I have, if I look in my scriptures, Job and Psalms says there's only one person that can walk on the water, and that's God. So Matthew is very clearly indicating that he believes Jesus is God. Peter says, hey, Jesus, if you say I can walk on the water, I can walk on the water too. And Jesus says, come on out. So Peter does and walks around on the water over to Jesus. <laughs> Sees a storm. His focus shifts to that storm, and that's all you can think about, and down he sinks. Again, we said earlier, when the last time we saw a storm, that, that Jesus did not come to save us from the storms. He's not going to make our lives peaceful and, and rosy throughout. But you know what? He is going to be there in the storm with us, holding our hands, keeping Peter from sinking. Even though Peter is now freaked out, he never sinks. Jesus has got him. Jesus takes him back to the boat. Peter can't stop focusing on his troubles, so he can't see that. But that doesn't mean that Jesus ain't helping him. So let's go ahead and we're going to read 14. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard about the fame of Jesus, and he said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why these miraculous powers are at work in him. For Herod has seized John and bound him and put him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. Because John had been saying to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. And though he wanted to put him to death, he feared the people, because they held him to be a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company and pleased Herod, so that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she might ask. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Baptist here on a platter. And the king was sorry, but because of his oaths and his guests, he commanded it to be given. He sent and had John beheaded in the prison, and his head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took the body and buried it, and they went and told Jesus. Now when Jesus heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a desolate place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Now when it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a desolate place, and the day is now over. Send the crowds away to go into the villages and buy food for themselves. But Jesus said, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They said to him, We have only five loaves here and two fishes. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, and taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing. Then he broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds, 
and they all ate and were satisfied, and they took up twelve baskets full of the broken pieces left over. And those who, who ate were about five thousand men besides women and children. Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat by this time was long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night he came to them, walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost! And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind eased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. And when they had crossed over, they came to the land at Genesaret. And when the men at the place recognized him, they sent around all that region and brought to him all who were sick and implored him that they might only touch the fringe of his garment. And as many as touched it were made well. May God bless the reading of his word. And may God bless you. Bye.